Hi guys, it's uh, me, Kai, from Blush Up Brush Hip, and I just wanted to show you some of the products I'm going to be using for this look. So that is the Marin Paradise Paints Palette, and then before that it was just a plaid acrylic paint. Um, then I have my Ben Nye Paint Pot, and a Wet n Wild CoverGirl Pot as well. And then I have a couple of different um, paint brushes that I'm using. A lot of them are smaller. I'm using Monster Effects Latex, and I'm just using some fake blood that I purchased online. I'm going to be using some like tissue paper to do some of my blotting, and then I have powder and a cute bookie brush for setting. I have a medium foundation, a dark foundation, and a light foundation. I'm also ripping apart a couple of little makeup sponges so that that way I can use the uh, ripped serrated edge kind of for texture. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is, well, I'm going to show you that I'm dipping my sponge in water. Then I'm going to go into the white section of my Marin Paradise paints and I'm just going to be blotting that into the skin. So as I'm blotting this into the skin, what this is pretty much going to accomplish is it's going to give me a very uneven sort of skin tone. And it'll look a little bit otherworldly too. So I'm blotting that in, going and paying close attention to the eyelids and to the lips to make sure that that looks very organic and very natural. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is going in with the yellow color from that Marin Paradise Paint set. And I'm just going to be blotting that over the top of the sum of the white. As you can tell in places I got a little bit darker than others, so I'm going to go in with a little bit more water and help blend that in because these are water or alcohol based paints. Um, so you're just going to go in with that, well I am going in with that, and blending it all out. I'm also going to pay, pardon me, pay close attention to the... Uh, eyes as well there. Now I'm going to be going in with this green color from the Paradise Paints palette, which is primarily what I'm using, and I'm going in with a, a little, very small detail brush, and I'm drawing in little veins. So what the veins will accomplish whenever they run from the mouth is give you sort of a sickly, kind of scary look. And the way I'm imagining it, you're sort of like a nuclear blast zombie. So I want it to look very diseased and very strange. As you can see, it's just kind of a little bit of a different look. We'll go in and to make it even a little more strange, we'll just add in some green there on the bottom lip and we'll go in on the other side and add a little bit more green over there as well. And then continue just making these little lines. When you make the lines, um, think about the way a crack would look and sort of follow through that way because we're wanting them to look very much like your skin has these iridescent, it's this iridescent skin and these veins are really popping through. So there we go. Oh, yeah. Pretty scary, right? All right. Now I'm going to want to soften everything out. So I'm going to be going in with a little bit of that cream, that lightest uh, base makeup that we have, our lightest foundation, and I'm going to be dotting that in over what I've done because I do want it to still look somewhat human-like. We still want some human skin happening. We don't want it to be too otherworldly and terrifying. So we want it to be believable because that's one of the scariest things I think about, you know, an apocalypse or whatever would be that things would be sort of still human-like but have some creepy tendencies. So I'm just going to be going in again and just dotting everything through. This will just be me blending everything out now. Kind of observing what I'm doing. Going in a little bit more to make sure everything's just really blended. So as we can see everything looks just a little more blended and now I'm going to be ripping another little piece off and I'm going to be going in with my Paradise Paints palette. I'm going to go in with my red color there and we're going to take that and dot it under the eyes. Now what dotting will do with this little sponge that we're using is it's going to cause the little pores in the sponge to fill and it'll make it look very blotchy and discolored. So it'll look very organic whereas opposed to if we had painted it on it might look a little bit thicker. This application will cause it to be thinner so we want it to be um, a little more understated and also just to blend in with the skin a little bit better. So we're going to go in and do the same on the opposite side um, and make some goofy faces while we're at it. <laughs> 
And then I'm going to go in and dot some into the lips and we're going to dot some around the lips as well because we want it to look like there's a little bit of bruising and discoloration. So it's always good to be able to, you know, have a good handle on that kind of thing. Now we're going to go in with some brown and that is our darkest foundation that we have. There is a color somewhat suitable for this in the Marin palette as well. Um, and we're going to just go in and draw that in with the same lines that or with the same brush that we use for doing the lines toward the bottom of the face. So you're still using that same method, that same cracked type of thing. Um, that's just sort of what you want to go for to get this look that we're trying to achieve. So I'm making sure that I don't have too much product on my brush at one time. And as I move that across the face, I'm making sure that it does look um, natural enough that it could pass for something. Now I'm going to go in and dot that in to <laughs> make my lips look a little bit darker, a little more discolored, and I'll dot it around the outside of the lips as well to give it sort of a blotchier, patchier look. As you can see, I'm just kind of checking that out, making sure it's all even. Then I'm going in on the other side and drawing my lines on. As you can see, I made these ones a little bit thicker and a little darker, so I am going in and trying to match and make sure that everything is about as equal as possible. Of course, you're not always going to have the same pattern on one side, and that's okay, because your veins aren't exactly the same all over your body. So it's okay if there's a little bit of deviation and variation going on here. And I'm just going in and making sure I have sort of the same number of veins on either side. Ooh, creepy. Not nice. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to take a little bit more of that red. And I've decided that I'm going to dot it around the lips a little bit more just to make it a little more dramatic and uh, to sort of spread it into the skin and make it look just um, as interesting as possible really because the key to successful makeup is the same thing as the key to a painting a really good painting you're going to use layering techniques in order to get the ideas across so as I blot that in I'm also going to take a little bit of I've taken a little bit of brown and mixed it in and now I'm going to go in with a little bit of black over the top and what that does is, whoa, what was that, silly girl? Anyway, uh, what that'll do is it'll give it even more dimension, make it even more interesting. So now what I'm going to do is go in with my Monster um, Liquid Latex, and it does smell bad. That's what that face was. It smells not so great. So I'm just going to show you how to do some really fast peeling skin. I am kind of using a tapping method. And as I tap the brush against my skin, it gives it sort of a... Hmm, peely texture without actually having to peel. So you're getting the ridges that you might want uh, without having to wait the time for it to peel. Also, it'll help dry it a little bit in itself. So I'm dotting some along the nose in the same way. And as you can see, I'm doing the same to the other side. So we're making sure that that whole bottom section of our face is blended in that way. Now we're going to go in and take some of our tissues. And these tissues are just simple. They're uh, from the drugstore and I'm going to go in and take that and set a little piece on just to test. So this is me testing to see if this will work in the method I've applied it. I have decided at this point that I don't think it's going to work so I'll just go ahead and move it off with my hand whenever I get done blending. So what I'm doing now is I'm pulling the latex as you can see and tearing it up a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and take that piece off of there and blend all of this out. So that way the skin really does look peely and nasty as you can see in the various lighting that we have. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with a larger portion of liquid latex and I'm just going to lay a circle. I find that a circle is one of, well, an oval is one of the easiest shapes to start with. I'm just gonna go in and I'll roll the tissue between my fingers now. And I, as I roll the tissue between my fingers, I'll go ahead and very gently, using a two finger method with my both of my index fingers, I'll press that into the latex circle I've already applied. Now you wanna make sure that you have these slices pre-torn so that way you can get it on there before the latex dries. Now I'll go in over the top of this with a little bit more latex, just very quickly on a brush. And we'll go ahead and let that do its drying for a second. Now I'm going to go in with that very, very uh, same, just a little bit of tissue. And I'm building it up on the edges to give it a little more dimension. 
Now I'm going to make sure that I'm blending all of this um, into the skin line so that way it looks as realistic as possible. So I'm just going to go for a little bit of drying time here. Now I'm going to go in with this pale foundation that I have and I'm going to take my brush and I will go ahead and set my brush onto there and with my brush I'm just dabbing this. This is another brush. It's a circular shaped brush. I'm dabbing that over the top of the latex so that that way it'll all blend in with my skin. Because my mix of my latex and my paper will dry white, so I want it to dry in a color that's more consistent with the skin tone that I have, or the skin tone that I've affected. Now I'm going to go in with um, a red, and so my red is again from my Marin Paradise Paints palette. I'm just going to be dotting that in, and we're going to start out by dotting that into the very center, and as you can see, that's all blended in. Now we're going to go ahead and take it up and blot that red out to the side to make it look like there's a little bit of aggravation and a little bit of swelling. Again, keep in mind that we are using that same circular brush that we used to apply the um, foundation to it to keep everything blended together. Now what I'm doing is I'm going in with a black. Now the black, what that'll do is just cause some really nice shading. As you can see, the wound is shaded now. So the next step here is to go ahead and finish applying around the wound so that way we look like we have a burn going on. Now this is just a very simple method of you're literally just dotting and pressing it on. So we're just pressing it into our skin. So as we press down, we'll press around the wound first because that's where it'll be our darkest and then we'll move up across that side of the face. If you wish to create more wounds and carry this out across the face, that's an awesome idea. But for me, I just wanted to do half of my face so you could see the underlying portions as well. So I'm just dotting all of that through. I want to concentrate it really, really well around the lips because I think that looks really cool and really dramatic. And if you use a uh, round brush with this, you'll get really nice, strange blotchiness to it. So this is me just kind of checking out and going, hmm, okay, what can, more can I do? So I'm still going to be using that circular brush and I'll be dipping that into some fake blood and I think that the fake blood really adds something. Normally I would prefer blood that's a little bit darker but for this effect we're going to do something a little funky. So I'm going to be dotting that into the open wound because I really do like the intensity of something being put into the open wound like that. And uh, just go ahead and dot that in and sort of check it out. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of dripping going on from the wound. And if you want, you can continue it down onto your neck. Now I'm going to go in and do a little bit of dripping around the nose as well because I always like bleeding out of the nose. And then I'll be dotting it into the mouth as well. So I'm just kind of goofing around a little bit here and checking out what this looks like. All right. Um, I'll insert some pictures at the end. Thank you for watching. Of course, like and subscribe. All right. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.